So I'm Joe Bleck. I'm a director of product marketing at Trimble. I've been with Trimble for about 10 years. My experience is in heavy civil construction, working survey projects in the US, O'Hare Airport through Chicago, if you ever get through there, never ending construction there, I had a hand in that. And then the, uh, a large uh, cable state bridge in Louisville, Kentucky, central US. Um, I run very amateurly, I ski even worse, and I golf even worse than that back in Colorado in the mountains with my family and a couple of dogs. And that's me. Next. What I'm going to present to you is really interesting and really, really unique across our industry is that Trimble is able to offer a single solution in a single ecosystem to collect, to process and analyze, and to manage and plan for pavement inspection data. So you can use Trimble's hardware, the MX systems, to collect the data. You can use Trimble's office software, Trimble Business Center, to process and analyze that data. And then you can integrate that within our asset lifecycle management software, Agile Assets, some of the paving modules there. So all in one to do pavement inspection inside of one company, one solutions system. Next. First, we'll start off with how to collect. You collect with the Trimble mobile mapping systems. Our portfolio, we just announced a new system, the Trimble MX60. Um, if you want to learn more, please visit us in Hall 3 and, and uh, take a look at that solution. Um, but anything that has uh, uh, the backward facing, the downward facing pavement cameras, as well as then the LiDAR sensors on, on either sides, the Trimble MX60 or the MX90, great sensors for this application. So why mobile mapping for pavement inspection? So what mobile mapping enables is rapid data collection for large scale projects. So kilometers after kilometers after kilometers of high quality data collection at highway speeds that comes in later. This uh, results in a comprehensive information about the assets. So you can capture dense point clouds and imagery along that linear corridor. While you're doing that, this also ensures employee safety and ease of access. So you don't have to do anything like rolling lane closures, which can be costly to contractors or to service providers. It also keeps human beings away from vehicles moving very, very quickly. Always, always good. Keep us and our, and our employees safe. All right, so you've collected with the Trimble mobile mapping systems. Next, you need to transform this data into information. And how we do that is you can extract every single detail with a powerful combination of, again, this super dense point cloud with high, uh, high resolution imagery to uh, capture things like pavement rutting or cracking or bumps, depressions, potholes, more. Kind of click through there, thank you. That shows the, um, the comparison of the existing conditions to what, what uh, TBC in the background produces as a kind of ideal surface. And that shows then cracks and rutting in this example. What we do with that information then is can complete a comprehensive report of relative quality to itself. And then you'd be able to showcase you know, areas of very high quality, areas of very low quality, and those areas of low quality you can rank and then specify on the owner side of, hey, where am I going to invest my asset infrastructure uh, uh, budget, maintenance budget, to improve the quality of roads? Next. These standards. So if you couldn't tell from my German, I am very much an American. Um, and these American standards that we do support inside of TBC may not be applicable to your local market if you're not, if you're not from the States. Um, however, that said, the PCI, Pavement Conformance Index, and the IRI, the International Roughness Index, they're relative to each other. So even if you didn't adopt these standards, they would still be usable because they show relative to each other where are the areas of the highest quality, where are the areas of lowest quality. And even besides that, what you can do is, what, what uh, Trimble Business Center does is provides classification and severity so that you'd be able to uh, compute relative scores without, without these standards. So while we're always looking for more and more 
uh, worldwide global standards to compute for you, uh, what we offer today in the software uh, it applies really for a worldwide audience. Why do we do this? Well, pavement inspection, and there's many, many uh, uh, software pro, uh, uh, out there that, that uh, can do this, but we implement these models and these trainings via an artificial intelligence model and trained models because it removes a lot of the subjectivity. There is a lot of variables in this workflow. There's a lot of data to look through and comb through, and there's also what, what I see a crack here. Is this a high, uh, uh, um, is this a, um, a high quality, a, a, a critical crack, or is this kind of like a minor crack? It's all kind of relative to each other, and by, by leveraging machine um, learning models, we remove a lot of that subjectivity from the analysis. We can also achieve granularity. So as I'd mentioned, this mobile mapping data from these sensors are very, very high quality. We want to be able to use that high quality, because otherwise, what's, what's the point of using uh, a mobile mapping sensor if you're not able to extract that quality data out of it? You can collect frequently. As I mentioned, you can drive at those highway speeds, so you don't have to worry about rolling lane closures. But what this also allows you to do is you can easily evaluate changes over time and it's a lot easier to drive something repeatedly over a given week or a month or a year rather than having to call a local road authority or the local road owner, have a shutdown, get the construction crews out there with the barrels and the barricades to make sure that you can collect your data via traditional or non-mobile mapping uh, methods. So it allows you to collect more frequently. And also because of this, because the mobile mapping sensor is driving down the road, you'd be able to collect any data that's in, in view. So you could have multiple uses for this data. Next. And I want to talk a little bit about that, what we can offer in, in Trimble software solutions inside of Trimble Business Center today, is that you can collect once and reuse it many times, for multiple purposes even. So it's highly, highly versatile. The level of detail of this data allows for, um, you can it, it collect all roadside assets, uh, road furniture, right? Uh, fire hydrants, electrical boxes, uh, uh, traffic lights, signs along the road, overhead lighting, all of those things are captured while you're just, maybe your main purpose is just to collect the pavement inspection assets. It's automated. So Trimble Business Center over the years, we've continually added more and more comprehensive tools that I'll showcase here um, with what you can do with sometimes just a click of a button to update and extract some information. And then interoperable. We want to be friends with the large industry players, so we have uh, a, a, the ability to exchange deliverables with the likes of Esri uh, and uh, via feature services, uh, Autodesk, Bentley, and others via standard CAD formats. Here's what I'm talking about with what you can do inside of our software, inside of Trimble Business Center. Um, we have machine learning based point cloud classification. And this is really nice because it's, it's come so far throughout the years. Back when we released the SX10 in 2016 now, um, we introduced this ability to label and classify data. So if all you are interested is in trees, there's a tree class, a vegetation classification. If all you're interested in ground for some topography work maybe, there's a ground classification. Well, that's been really, really improved here over the last year or two by leveraging some machine learning, adding additional classes. Uh, we've got a rail classification now as well. And so with a click of a button, the routine runs, and you get these point cloud classes automatically. Next. If you don't have, uh, uh, if we don't have that, that model pre-populated for you, uh, new features we've allo allowed you to custom train your own classes. So you feed the model a little bit of data. For example, and this is an um, insulator on a high tension power line. You say, hey, this is an insulator, this is an insulator, this is an insulator. Um, you feed the model a couple of, of these, these uh, uh, geometries and these objects, and it learns itself. You train the model yourself, and then, hey, you have a custom trained insulator class for then you to use across your organization share it outside of the software. These can be shared um, and, and can be a nice competitive advantage for you in, in, uh, in your workflow. A couple more of these. Uh, the uh, uh, shown here electrical boxes in the, the orange kind of square, maybe a little hard to see. Oh, the resolution is better than what I got on my monitor. Um, 
the orange square there for electrical boxes or sidewalk specific pavement. Um, and then a final class here is between two different types of trees. We have a high vegetation class, a medium vegetation class, but in this case, the difference between a gaff tree and a palm tree was obvious, and then you could see how crisp and how clean this is to filter those. We've got a whole slew of different tech, uh, uh, feature extraction uh, 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 tools as well between curb and gutter and trees, uh, geometries such as uh, overhead lines or jersey wall barriers, um, and then my recent new favorite is the stockpiles tool. So from a point cloud, you click on a stockpile, it classifies it, and it computes the volume for you automatically with one click. So being able to use this data, again, we're talking about pavement inspection data, and the last few slides I just went off on was these different applications for the same data, right, to be able to reuse this data. So back to pavement inspection. What you can do with this, all right, you've got your relative scores, you've identified all the pavement deformations, you can get that data into our asset lifecycle management software called Agile Assets. Two modules for that, either Pavement Analysts or Pavement Express, and what you can do inside of Agile Assets is answer a series of questions, next, between inventory and performance analysis. So, Agile Assets is a platform that you feed this data in, you feed the pavement information into, and you can then have um, a history of what the quality was of a given road section or road area at a given time. Then you redrive it the next week or the next month or the next year, and you'd be able to compare the deformation and really do some predictive modeling of where are, this, where are the failures, where do I need to spend my limited budget, on maintenance and really be able to make you as an asset owner to make the best uh, uh, informed decision of your limited uh, uh, maintenance budgets. What this kind of looks like is a series of dashboards and I've got a, a couple of screenshots here. So this information is readily available, easily accessible as you can see from color coding, green is good, red is not so good. Um, alongside with the actual metadata side by side. So very easy to see from this map, for example, where the high quality areas are, pavement's okay, maybe it's a new, uh, recently repaired or a new road, or where the areas where you should probably look some, uh, put some attention to. Again, just a couple more here. Now this shows the quality over time. So the areas where you know, year over year over year, if you're driving and if you're maintaining as an asset owner, where your road and where your maintenance dollars should, uh, or, or uh, uh, euros should go. And then putting this all together, so this information, again, is instantly at your fingertips. So lots and lots of information that can be fed from your Trimble mobile mapping system, processed inside of Trimble Business Center, and then sitting here in, for asset owners inside of their asset lifecycle management software, such as Agile Assets. Next, there we go. So to wrap this up, so I hope I've, uh, I know I went through this pretty quickly, but I hope I was able to communicate how Trimble, I think we've got this pretty unique pavement light inspection lifecycle. So starting from collect, collect with your high quality uh, collect high quality data with the Trimble MX systems. Process and analyze with automation tools and routines inside of Trimble Business Center. Manage and plan with timely maintenance decisions with less effort in your ALM, such as asset like, uh, Agile Assets. And what that then means is an entire ecosystem, no matter if you're the mobile mapping service provider or the data processor, or the actual asset owner, all inside of the Trimble ecosystem. So I believe that's it for me. Um, if you need to know any more information, there's people that know way more about each of these components over at our booth in Hall 3. Otherwise, I'll be floating around as well. And um, yeah, that's all I got.